Alright everybody, this is Divine RPG version 1.3, this just came out yesterday, which was March 10th, and I decided I'm going to do a little tutorial because I actually had to come in here and spend about an hour and a half trying to figure out what to even do, so I figured you guys would probably need to know something like that too. Okay, so in here... Uh, with agate fragments and a glowstone dust, you can make a dream powder, so I'll show you guys that. Okay, so that gives you one dream powder, and the way you make the portal is like this, and I'll be making this on the back wall back here, so you'll need eight agate blocks, and you're going to build this like so. those and light it with your dream powder and as you've noticed I'm wearing some armor and I have a weapon that's because I wanted to show you guys that once you enter here um, and by the way this is Vethia once you enter Vethia it wipes your inventory and well I guess it doesn't wipe your inventory you get your stuff when you back when you go back into the overworld, but while you're in here, you have absolutely no gear. So, this is Vethia. Now, well, I guess I'm still in creative. So, and I need to turn this back to normal. Alright, so, once you're in here, um, you're going to need to kill some mobs. Um, I'll go over mobs as we see them. So this is a Dream Wrecker, and they are, I think, the hardest mob on the first floor. As you can tell, they have uh, 60 life. Um, if I were to turn this into uh, survival, he'll start pulling me towards him. Uh, that's what makes these guys so hard, is that they'll slowly pull you towards them and then they'll kill you. So, yeah. That's those guys. Um, this is kind of like glowstone, I guess. You can uh, dig it up with your fist. If I was in uh, survival, I would be able to show you. Um, so right here, this is like, I guess, your crafting table in here. And in this... I'll show you later how to make weapons. So I'm gonna go around a little more, see if I can find any more mobs. Uh, these guys go invisible, I believe. Or from my experience, they go invisible. They have uh, 25 life. They're not too difficult. You're gonna have to kill a few mobs with your fists, but that's not too bad. And these are the mystery men. These are passive mobs, and if you right-click them once, they'll say something, and when you right-click them again, they'll disappear, and they'll give you, uh, tweaker, or, not tweaker, tweaker lumps, which can be used to make, uh, some of the gear for the first layer. Uh, and speaking of which, Vethia is divided into four layers, and each layer going up is harder than the previous. Yeah. So, um, here's another thing. These are lamps, and if you put acid in these, they will light up like a redstone lamp, I guess you could say, except they're green. So let's continue looking, see if we can find any more different mobs. Some more dream wreckers. When you get I think more than two of these guys, you they'll be pulling against you so hard that you will not be able to move backwards, and yeah, can get pretty, pretty intense. Let's see, game mode S, so they're pulling me towards them, and if I try to run in the other direction, you can see that I'm barely moving. If I sprint, I can move about a block a second. If there was four, I would not be able to move at all. 
and yeah. Oh crap. Uh, okay, so, yeah. Got killed. I built another portal over here. So let's go back in and continue showing you guys around. So, game mode C. Um, we'll get to that later. Or actually, yeah, here's another mob. Not the guys with the mouths, but these guys right here. Um, from what the wiki says, they can blind you. Doesn't seem... Okay, I think they're bugged. It's weird. But anyway, these guys are supposed to blind you and they have 10 HP, if I remember right. Looks like there's some more down here. Yeah, okay, they're just deciding to be bugged right now. So, yeah, that's that. So, these guys... Um, well, first, let's talk about uh, from killing... Uh, all the mobs in this area besides the dream wreckers you will get these dirty pearls so let's give about 10 of them uh, from the dream wreckers you will get clean pearls which um, yeah I think those are used to buy stuff on the second layer I haven't actually explored the second layer at all so I could not say very much about that but anyway once you have some of these uh, dirty pearls, you're going to probably need to collect some dirt and stack your way up here. And these guys may look scary, but they're actually villagers, kind of, and they trade with you. So, with uh, one pearl you can get some dream carrots. It's basically just some food. And then for three you can start uh, buying the templates. And these are what you use to make uh, all the weapons in Vestia. And I don't know how to get the actual armor. I know you can get the helmet with uh, this degraded template. Or maybe the degraded template just makes any piece of the armor. But, um, but yeah. So let's, uh, let's get a disc template. It's got a disc template, and let's grab an armor template, too. Alright. So, like I said before, if you go and find the Layer 1 Mysterious Men, I think they're called? These guys. Um, it looks like their texture is pretty screwed up right now. So, yeah, the ones on Layer 2... Uh, their texture is working, so I might go up and show that. But anyway, just double right click on these guys, and they will give you, um, the Teaker Lumps, I think they're called. And that's how you get the, they're basically like, uh, ingots, I guess, you could say. So you put your, uh, template in the bottom, and your... Teaker on top. I, I guess you can't make a Teaker gear. But you can make a Teaker uh, weapons. So this is a disc. If you throw this, it will fly and then come back. Um, since I'm in creative, let's turn this to survival. Um, if you throw this, it removes it from inventory and then it goes back in once. Uh, yeah. And this deals four damage. I think, and don't quote me on this, but I believe that this is a very unfinished product. I guess you could say. Wow, this is just gonna keep hitting this guy. Ah. Yeah, because, um,. Let's go into the creative menu real quick. I guess I could have just been using that the entire time. Face palm. But anyway, if we type in uh, hammers, which are one of the melee weapons, uh, they all have four damage. 
and I believe that's just a bug right now that will be fixed later but I believe the first tier which is the Teaker does the 4 damage and then it scales up if we go to the ranged weapons uh, the discs scale correctly 4, 6, 9, 13, 16, 20, 22, 29, 37 same for cannons, bows, and staves. Wow, that's a... I didn't even see that stab before. That's a... <laughs> oh yeah, this is a good time to also talk about the uh, the mana bar. So, before it would be... would have been above your hunger bar, I believe. And it was, you know, the blue bar. But now it is those blue circles in the corner there. And yes, I am using damage indicators mod. Somebody suggested that I get it, so I'm going to be using it from now on. It's actually a pretty amazing mod. So anyway, this is the first layer. I'm trying to look around to see if I can find a crypt. Because in a crypt you can get the second ore. Well, I'll call it an ore. I guess it's kind of like an ingot resource, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, you'll find these things throughout the area, and as far as I can tell, they're just there for looks. This one, I believe, would be a ring or a disc. Um, yeah. There's also one for a sword. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe that's uh, the hammer. Don't know. These guys are acid hags. I haven't shown you them yet. I'm not sure if you can actually break the acid. I haven't actually got around to trying that yet. Just abuse the fact that I'm in creative and throw bunches of discs. <laughs> so this stuff that they're leaving behind, they're kind of like snowmen, uh, but instead of snow, they're dropping this acid stuff, so let's switch over to survival. If we walk on this, we'll take damage. I don't know if you can break this and get acid. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Yeah. So, I don't know how you're supposed to get acid, but... Like I said before, I'm pretty sure that uh, Vethia is still a big work in progress. A lot of stuff here seems to be unfinished. Um, I'm not even certain. Yeah, I'm getting pulled over by... Okay, so yeah, these guys aren't broken now. Um, so, I'm gonna die. Again. But anyway, I'm going to go search for a crypt, and I will see you guys when I find one. Alright, we're back, and I have found a crypt. So, this is what they look like. This is still on layer 1. And if we go inside, there will be a spawner right here. Though I'm pretty sure that... Uh, this is also another, I don't know about calling it a bug, but um, the mobs that spawn from these take a bigger space to actually spawn um, than is in here, I'm pretty sure. Um, so they won't actually spawn, but yeah, that's, that's a thing. And then there's, uh, I think that's a bee spawner, or, no, that's something else, but... Anyway, in here you'll find this guy, and he is like the mysterious man. You double right click him, and he will give you Amthermus Lump, and that is what you use to make the, uh, the armor headpiece or whatever it is. But yeah, I think these are actually pretty cool looking little bits. So now that we've done that, um, I don't know how exactly, 
you're supposed to do this, you'll probably be punching at the ceiling here for quite a while. Unless you can actually, I don't know, I've tried if you can go into the center of one of these pillars and... Yeah, so, you're gonna need to c collect a bunch of dirt and probably a bunch of this, uh, red stuff. And stack your way up. And punch through the ceiling. It might be smarter to do it at a spot like this where you can get a little bit extra of height before you have to start breaking through stone. It's going to take you a while, but eventually you'll get up to the second layer. And notice at the top of the screen that we have a health bar for a hive queen. So, yep, right over there. This is, I think, maybe the first boss in Vethia. And from... I've not actually fought one legitimately. I fought it in creative with a staff, but they're pretty insanely hard to kill, which is why this is the uh, hardest dimension. So, yeah, these guys have 20 life, and this queen will just continuously spawn them, and these soldiers, and she has 1500 life. I did kill her once, like I said before, and she gave me about 80 levels of experience, uh, and that also includes killing uh, a whole bunch of the, I guess, bugs in there. And she also dropped some honey stuff and some food. So, these are the Layer 2 Mysterious Men. They kind of look like the Crypt Keepers. Again, double right-clicking them will give you their uh, resource, I guess you could call it. It is uh, Dwarven Lumps. Hey, come back here. So, they give you six each on the second layer, and they give you three of the Teaker Lumps, I believe, on the first layer. This is a pyramid, and I seriously do not suggest coming in here unless you are either A, prepared to die, or B, geared pretty high because there are spawners everywhere. So this is one of the guys I was talking about earlier with the spawner in the crypt. Um, they're very tall, so I'm assuming that the reason they're not spawning in the crypt is because they are too tall. Just a guess. Um, I don't know what the point of this place is, except maybe to, uh, to grind out the resources to buy more stuff from the vendors, you know, the templates and the food and all that good stuff. I've never actually gone to the top. Looks like we have a temple guardian right here. I'm guessing this, yeah, this guy is like the crypt keeper. And he gave 10 Surmile Lumps, which were, are probably used to make the second tier of armor for Vethia. And yeah. I've not found a merchant, I guess you could say, in Vethia, or er, on the second layer. So I'm not sure about the currency prices in the second layer. Um, as you can see from uh, the pyramid, the mobs in the second layer are about twice as strong as the mobs in the first. Um, which also brings me to another point. I probably should have showed this back on the first layer. Let's go game mode S, and let's break down a tree. And you can notice that I'm, I'm moving back a little bit each time I break one of these. Because, if we can get one to spawn, I might have to go 
back down to the first layer. I've never tried to get one to spawn in the second layer before. So, yeah, I'm gonna go back to the first layer and show you guys that. Alright, everyone, we're back on the first layer, so let me show you this now. So if you break one of these trees on the first layer, an Ent will spawn. They've got 50 life, and right now they're pretty buggy, so they might actually be your only source of, um... Because, as you can see, he's gonna suffocate. And he's gonna die. And he will drop a dirty pearl, so this might be your only, um form of getting these dirty pearls at this level. So, yeah. Um, I should probably also show one of these lamps. Um, let's give myself some acid. And let's throw one of those in there. And it lights up. It's actually quite bright. I almost think this is Maybe brighter than glowstone? It seems to be brighter than this stuff, maybe. Or maybe not. Either way, that's those things. Um, I don't think there's anything special about them. Not even certain how to get acid at this point. So, yeah, that's that. Um, continue back up to the second layer. Again, I have no idea how to get up here other than digging through the ceiling, which is going to take you a very long time. You can punch through it, but it's going to take a while. So, again, you're going to be going around, and what the heck? Okay, so I got an apple. That's strange. Anyway, come around. Double right click these guys, get their stuff, use it to buy something, I guess. Er, now that I think about it, um, you can get the templates from the, the first layer. So, I'm not going to go all the way back down to the first layer, but if you were to, say, <coughs> cheat and give yourself a template, for let's grab another armor one and cannon and a back sword. Why not? Let's go in here and I believe we'd need the surmile no. Well don't know about the armor, but I do know that you can craft the weapons like so. Again, the melee weapons seem to be really screwed up at the moment. Um, don't know what to tell you. It says the ammo for this is a Dwarven cannon, so it shoots itself. A lot of sense that makes. Um, like I said, for probably the third time, this seems to be a very work-in-progress dimension right now. Um, hopefully, in future updates, it won't be nearly as buggy. But, from what I've shown you guys so far, you can probably still get... This is going to be about one of the hardest dimensions you will ever go to. Mainly because it makes you restart. Um, I have noticed... As you guys might have noticed the first time, um, yeah, see, right there, this would have been a great spot to break through into the second layer. Half the layer was this, uh, glowstone kind of stuff, and you would have only had to go through, like, three, four, five blocks of stone. So, third layer, similar to the other layers, gets stronger... I don't know if there's any boss areas. Um, got these guys. Freaky. Textures are broken, it looks like. Um, but yeah, that's basically my 
little mini tutorial for um, Vethia. I hope you guys have enjoyed this, and let's go up to the very top layer which, if you had gone through all the bottom layers, would be the most magnificent thing because there's no ceiling. It's very bright compared to the lower levels anyway. Got some structures up here. Very big, confusing structures. And one of the most amazing mobs I have ever seen in my life. Look at that. It's just magical. Yeah, but another reason I was saying this is probably a big work in progress is because look at this mob's name. Test Mob. And it is bugging to hell. It's like multiplying and just crazy stuff. No idea what's going on with it. Pretty interesting looking mobs though. Um, got a crazy looking golem guy with a gigantic arm. Mob design in Vethia is pretty insane compared to the other dimensions. Um, just gonna go silent and just let you guys look at the world as I fly by. Thank you all for watching. Have a nice day.